Yeah, that's potpourri. Don't eat that. Don't eat ah. that. Yeah. But the uh, we got uh, vegetables. If you haven't seen those before, that's a uh, those no. are broccoli and cauliflower. Oh, uh, is white broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then we got cookies and fudge and shit over here, and uh, chips and uh, we got little smokies in the because you asked for little smokies. They're actually still oh, over yeah. there in the in the broccoli the sounds pot. like something that people would so name right broccoli. Yeah. And then you could you just had to call it cauliflower because you couldn't. It was like oh, it's white broccoli. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is about Caucasian flower. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is. Bro- yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Call it cauliflower is a Caucasian one. <laughs> it's a Caucasian. It's really just white. Yeah, it's white broccoli. It's what it is. It's, it's a little stiffer. It's a little stick up its ass. Yeah. It's not. It's not. It's not as chill. Cauliflower is good though on certain things, man. I'm not down with the cauliflower pizza crust. Or yeah. cauliflower, like, just, like nah, man, just give me cauliflower as it is. If you could cook it good, steam it, whatever, I'll eat it like that. Yeah, Don't yeah. trick me into eating something that it's not. Now, are you, uh, you uh, ever deal with kind of cauliflower ear? You got an MMA background at all? You... Uh, yeah, so uh, I did jujitsu for a few years, man. Yeah, I know I know about cauliflower ears. I never got it. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> the school I trained at, uh, there was a lot of dudes there that were conscious about, like, a lot of things, man. Something that's kind of, I don't know if it's controversial or not. It's just not really seen that often. Uh, the school that I was at, we were we wore socks or oh, yeah. wrestling shoes with our geese. So not to spread staff and infection. I don't even think it was that. It was more of like street fight. Yeah, it's like you won't, you'll never be. I don't know. I ain't gonna find no one naked or barefoot or like sweaty. Oh yeah, I take off all my clothes before and, I fight. Like, yeah, if someone Greek style. Yeah, uh, a little I mean, oil. You know, you know, yeah, I, that's the Chad O experience yeah. right there. But yeah, but so you you train with your shoes on all the time, huh? Uh, with wrestling shoes, yeah. not my shoes. That'd be disgusting. Uh, yeah, with wrestling shoes or socks. Yeah, depends. It wasn't frowned upon. Not everybody uh, partaked in that, like did that. But it was dope. It teaches you <clears> to catch <throat> hill hooks and things like that. With, a, with it is, but it's shoes. also like <clears throat> teaches you how not to get in positions to get fucking hill. Hooked. Yeah, it's funny you brought up hill hooked. Uh, my first. My first class at this school, um, I get there, and the teacher is known. This was before John Donaher went on Joe Rogan and said, why would you ignore 50% of the body? Yeah, this is yeah. before that. This yeah. man, and his name is William Vandry, and the school is Vandry Jiu-Jitsu <clears throat> here in Austin. I believe now the school is on uh, Pond Springs. But Vandry Jiu-Jitsu, he's a 6th or 7th degree black belt at this point. Oh, wow. Under Carlos Machado. Anyway, oh, yeah. my first lesson at his class, I was the only... Every, it was nothing but sharks. It was like blue belts, purple belts, blacks, browns. So we had some red into the mix. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that Navajo cinnamon. Anyway, uh, so yeah, we get the... You know, I'm there... And he was teaching these guys heel hooks and knee bars. Oh, wow. So he would teach, he would cover, it was almost like school. Like, all right, for a few months, we're just going to cover this. Oh, that's These cool. moves, these moves, these moves, and how we're going to get. That particular class, I show up. I tell him that I'm ready. I got the gi, whatever, whatever. And uh, he's like, hey, look, what I'm about to show you, you are not allowed to do until you are more advanced. Yeah, yeah. But I'm not going to teach something else. <laughs> He's like, but I ain't teaching anything else. So, yeah, man, it was like heel hooks, ankle locks, and, like, counters from them, sweet. Like, it nice. was like, it was a, an ankle lock or a heel hook and how you can work that into a sweep. Like, just pretty much getting out of it. Like That's cool. You would learn how to get into it and how to get out of it. Man, Switch. so... I when I started like in two thousand four, mm-hmm. and uh, I wanted to be a, a you know a cage fighter. That was my, that was my goal, and so I found this uh, this Damn. judo place called. Uh, so you've Stone. always been a douche. Yeah. Nah, I'm just kidding. So I uh, a judo place. Yeah, I found a judo Hell place. Yeah. You were a judoka. It was all about throw. This guy was a gold medalist uh, judo guy. I mean, it was it was a, it was a good a good school, but man, it was all judo throws and judo locks and all that shit. And then uh, they took the judo gi. And we started up playing around uh, jujitsu. So one of the guys there he ended up uh, wanting to train jujitsu, 
uh, he was like a blue belt in jujitsu. Everybody else was, you know, white. So he ended up, uh, we went with him, opened up his, his own school, and he basically just trained a couple of classes ahead of us and <laughs> showed us the rest of it. And then, yeah, we all Isn't just kind of came up together. Yeah, yeah dude. Yeah. <laughs> My first, uh, like, jujitsu class, jujitsu, like, intro, I went to this one gym that just taught him and bay. They weren't even, they were just like, oh, we'll teach you MMA. And it was a dude. That was a blue belt mm-hmm. teaching people talk. Hey, yeah. you fucking kid. <laughs> His foot caught my face. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was mad. I wanted to fucking get at this guy. But I was like, isn't that crazy? And then later on, I was like, I, I don't know if this school's for... Oh, what happened there, man, was we were rolling. And I get, like, the mat separated. It was, like, where the mat met. Mm-hmm. And it separated. Oh, and yeah. I kid you not, bro. There was, like... A layer of just hair. Oh shit! And toenails. Oh, you're like I'm done. They never cleaned up under the mats. Yeah. It was like, dude, you're not gonna take the time to do. And then I get to this other school, uh, (coughs) Vandry School. They pull up the mats, clean up everything. It smells beautiful in there. It's clean. He's all about cleanliness. You have to have a clean gi. You. He doesn't allow people to roll without a rash guard underneath. That's like, yeah, you catch staff that was like, no, you gotta have. Protect yourself, man. Wash yourself. Come in here clean. Respect your partner. Respect the place. Oh, that's good, man. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty dope. Yeah, we always cleaned up after. We always had to take it yeah. all the mess up. And, yeah, there was always somebody there. Down. Clean. Yeah. yeah. I never did that, though. And I always, always were above everybody else, I can tell. Nah, man. I just I was always that dude that got winded because this school had some animals, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. So they'd be going like 10 more rounds after yeah. I'm done. And I'm like. Oh. I was always the biggest guy in class. They yeah, I'm like. These little guy. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah. like, I ain't. I ain't sticking around for this. Yeah, yeah. Fuck y'all. Yeah. I gotta I gotta go raise a kid.